Okay, so you want the latest version of Uma. Now the temptation is to head over to the Asset Store and download the version that's on there. Uh, if we have a look at this, at the time of recording, this is quite recent. However, things tend to move quite quickly in the world of Uma. Lots of fixes, additions, uh, improvements get done all the time. And we only tend to see these releases every six months to a year. So uh, if you want to use the latest version of Uma, uh, this is not the place to get it. Instead, use your browser to head over to GitHub and hunt for the Uma steering group. Here you will find the working repository of Uma. So if we have a look in here, there's a lot of things in here. We'll have a look at those another time. But what we're after is this Uma repository here. Now, um, there are several branches. If we have a look in here, you can see lots and lots of branches. These are all the experiments, all the unfinished stuff um, that's being used while Uma's being developed. However, this one branch here, develop, tends to be the very latest stable version of Uma. So if you're looking for a feature that's maybe you've seen in a video that doesn't seem to be available in your version of Uma, then this is the branch to download. So I'm going to click on develop. If you use something like source tree, you can uh, obviously clone this repository and keep up to date. If you don't, you can simply download this as a zip file and it comes and we can bring that into a unity project. Just to be absolutely sure you understand what's going on, I'm going to do that. So let's get this downloaded and we'll have a look at that in Unity. Okay, so once you've unzipped that folder or um, cloned it using source tree, uh, this is what you'll get inside. To actually import this into our Unity project, simply go into the Uma project folder, assets, and just drag the Uma folder into your projects. And that's it. So once it's imported, you will then have the very latest version of Uma in your project. Okay.